So today I want to move this worm that we caught Friday, today is now Tuesday, and put them into this box here. Uh, this box is going to allow them to better make it through the winter and I'm going to be able to put a honey inside the hive uh, feeder with them so that they can build more comb and more stores to make it through the winter. Uh, don't really have much of a game plan to go. I don't know what they've done inside of here. I haven't opened the box up yet, but I'm just going to dig into it and try to have a little bit of fun while we do it. As always, got my soup here ready to go. All right. So I'm opening the hive. Lovely artwork by Kay. I have a few squished bees from our removal the other day. Uh, there's a rim that goes around the outside. Um, now unfortunately, a few of our girls got squished, but we were trying to move real quick and there wasn't too much that we could do to really avoid that. So how I have it is the hive that we moved the other day is over on this side under here. They don't even know that I'm inside the box. This is my divider board, which allows me to keep two separate colonies inside of here. Or if I only had one colony, uh, I'd be able to use this to separate how big of a space that they get. But right now, because we had that swarm, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, what I did was, uh, I took a piece of tape along the seam just to be sure that the bees would not be able to get to each other. And so far, because there's no bees inside of here, it looks like I've done an all right job. So now that this area is properly uh, in place, hopefully I can keep these yellow jackets out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it down a little bit. Don't think I quite had enough smoke and fuel. So I'm crackling a bit here. Smoking down the entrance of the hive. I'm gonna go ahead and take this time and get my feeder in place. You want your feeder as far away from the brew chamber as you can get it, which only happens to be 10 frames away because this is a 20 frame box. So get that nice and snug up here. I'm going to wait on putting the feed in just in case something happens and I knock it over. It's going to be a big mess. It's going to uh, attract predators and all the rest. So this is some beeswax foundation with some wires in the middle. So next year when we go to extract honey or in following years when we go to extract honey we don't have all this comb just blow out, blow out on us. So I'm setting a few frames in place. Always want an empty frame all the way against the far wall. Uh, that will allow the bees to have an extra space that they can make for a barrier. So, let's go. Oh, I can feel that this is a little bit stuck. This is a tight fitting lid in the first place. My biggest fear is that they were going to start building some bridge comb. From the looks of it, they were starting a little bit. Just because inside of our hive, it's such a tight fit with our frames that we knew that, wow, we knew something like this was going to happen. This is exactly why I wanted to get out of here a little bit sooner. So I'm going to go ahead and do 
when I can. I'm gonna grab that and bring it over. So you can see they were just doing bridge comb and whatever else they could in the spaces that they had. Man, that looks bad. Now I knew that a swarm colony was going to build way quicker than anything else that we've had. But I did not expect this, not at all. So this is our first frame. This is the frame that's closest to the outside. I'm gonna get her off of here. And this is what happens when you don't have proper spacing. They will build comb and wax wherever they can find it. I want to do everything I can not to shake these bees. But I want to see a little bit of what it is that they have going on right here. It looks like they have most of this frame drawn out. That is unbelievable. So since this was the closest to the entrance, that's exactly where I'm going to leave it. It's closest to the entrance. And I want to do everything I can not to shake the bees. Uh-oh. This slid's in my way. There was a lady in the way. I think I'm going to need a knife. I'm back now with a knife. I am unexperienced in any of this. I'm educated in this. I don't really know what to expect or to get into, but I know it's going to be necessary to get these guys out. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over after I smoke them. So right here it looks like it's bridged. I'm going to go ahead and cut this very small portion off. This is surprising because I know it takes an awful lot of energy for these girls to spill a lot of wax. Maybe not a great idea. Do this with the smoke blowing in their face. All right, I can pull this up now. So on this side, it looks like you have an entire extra section of comb. And they have B space behind that they built. 
the side. Looks to be all right. So they have built all of that up. I'm gonna go ahead and was not in there this way. what I can do for now. And over on this side, they've built up a little extra yet again. So I'll give you a sight of what I'm looking at here. This is all built outside of the frame outside of the plane of this I'm assuming it's the same on this side that's really gonna mess with the spacing on the inside of what I had built so if I could get this out then I should be able to save it on an empty frame which would be not in here maybe maybe it's this one so I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull that out see if I can't find that frame which would be extremely valuable to me right now now I have an empty frame that, could you get me a rubber band so I can save um, this comb? I'm going to Alright, so we got that far and it started to rain. I'm not sure what to do. I don't think it seems like a great idea to continue too much. Um, I was hoping to get those bees over into this box by dumping them out just like we did the other day. But it's raining and that can't be good for them. Um, I was hoping to save the wax. At this point, I think we just have to really get to and do something. Um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and set up a B ramp. I know it took them a long time the last time. But hopefully it'll be enough. To get them all together. And eventually they'll get dry. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Okay, why don't you go ahead and start with your lid that you have there. And just do like we did the other day. I'm going to put this in place to keep them from continuing to build like this. Maybe it's just a quick, quick sprinkle. But we're going to have to definitely get something done. Their little bee butts in the air, they're trying to spread pheromones so everyone else can find them. I love it when their bee butts are in the air.
with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night for these girls. Uh, most of them have found their way out of the box and into our hive. Uh, this piece of comb here does have some eggs inside of it. Um, I don't know if they're actually going to leave that at any point in time. But if they do, I'm going to go ahead and save that comb for myself. That way we got something that we can show other people that come over to visit us. Uh, that have shown their interest in our hives. Um, but beyond that, they don't seem to be moving too much more. Uh, I found that extra frame that I was missing. Um, I put it in place so that way they don't spread throughout the upper cavity here. Uh, beyond that, I wasn't able to move the comb uh, into that empty frame empty unwaxed frame to save it. I'm gonna have to do that probably this weekend because I just don't have the time or the daylight. As you can see, it's pretty dark out. The sun set on us really quick. Um, but the rain that came through, it was just a really quick light sprinkle and we didn't really have much, um, we didn't have much rain come through. It was just a really, really light sprinkle. Um, but these ladies seem to be settling down quite a bit. There was one bee trying to attack my camera because I turned my flashlight on uh, or the flash on so that way I could record this still while it was dark, try to get as much of this footage as I could. But beyond that, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I'll see you guys next weekend. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any useful information about anything that we've done today, please feel free to share with us. We're always open to suggestion. Um, if you have any questions, I'll, I'll try to do my best to answer anything that you have for me. Beyond that, thank you.